Technology tools and texts on the internet provide many opportunities for students to develop their reading skills and critical literacy. Professor Beckett's advice is to consider students' interest and knowledge in the choice of reading materials and to include reading in fun activities that promote conversation. She also recommended engaging students in discussions of their own opinions about what they read so that they're critically engaged with the material. Also, she said that students should keep journals about what they're reading. Technology can help with all these activities. First, it is not difficult to find text that interest students on the internet because the internet contains text of every topic. Websites with news reports and articles can be very useful for teachers wanting to provide authentic texts for reading activities. As Professor Chappelle mentioned, Voice of America is one of these websites. But there are many more websites, such as BBC News or Google News, where you can find news stories. Considering your students' interests, background, and level, you may pick news articles from these websites to design comprehension and discussion activities. Even though BBC News or Google News can be very useful resources, they're not written for English learners as their primary audiences. Texts on these websites are often suitable for advanced level speakers of English. However, if your students are at earlier stages of learning English, you would have to manually simplify their texts to use them in reading activities. Fortunately, there are also some news websites whose target audience is English learners. These websites accommodate different levels of English by offering several versions of each news story using English that is appropriate for learners at different levels. News and Levels is one of these websites. This website is updated regularly with news articles and reports. On the home page, you can find news stories to click on and read. When you click on a news story, you will see buttons labeled Level 1, 2, and 3. Higher levels have more complex words and sentence structures. Sometimes, the length of the text is different across levels so that some stories will have a higher word count at higher levels. Texts at all levels have underlined words, which are defined at the end for students. This feature can be useful to help students to learn new vocabulary. You may also hover over the tabs labeled Level on the same website and pick a certain news category. You may find the Categories feature useful for finding a certain theme that your students will find interesting to read. Another example of news presented in a variety of levels is Breaking News English. Like News in Levels, this website has news articles in different levels of English. Although this website is less polished than News in Levels, it still offers great content for teachers and helps them save time and effort by offering the same story across different levels. Just like News in Levels, you can click on different news categories to find text that will be appealing to your students. In addition to news articles, there are other very useful websites where you can find literature and fiction readings. Full Text Archive is a great website where you can do a keyword search if you're looking for a particular author or title. You can also browse the content by genre. The browsing feature is especially useful for finding texts that accommodate students' interests. For example, if your students are into sci-fi, you can find a short story in that category. Like Full Text Archive, ESL Bits is another great resource for finding novels, short stories, or other fiction readings. Always keep your students' level in mind when you use text from these resources, and make sure the text is appropriate for them. In the next part, we'll discuss other internet resources you can use to design activities that foster critical thinking and literacy skills.